valuable friends, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. A little more about that later. That's a decent little um, sled thingy. Good morning, frugal friends. I am Julie. That's Reagan. Hello. Welcome to the frugal family. Let's go dumpster diving. Yeah, it's missing the like, or no, what is it that's supposed to be on that? I'm not really sure. But yeah, I think we'll grab it. They're not, I mean, they're kind of terrible for sledding, to be honest, but we'll give it a try. They're kind of notorious, like, crash mobiles. Looks like they got it for a dollar at the DI. Okay, this bag has like shoes and clothes. We're gonna have to put it in a tote because it smells. But there's some really cute like rain boots in there. Look how cute those are. Those would be awesome in the yard sale. They're too small for my kids. My first mug of coffee brewed with the new Keurig. <laughs> Next to the I love coffee sign that we upcycled from the dumpster with my favorite coffee creamer, International Delight Southern Butter Pecan. And what did we use in here? Yes, it was one of our dumpster salvaged K-cups. Yep. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I mean, I love the Mr. Coffee that James bought. That's awesome when you need like a lot. But for a quick cup, just for me, just for me, this is so perfect. And dumpster diving and YouTube has made all of this fabulous. Fab and dumpster diving and YouTube and all of you watching have made this fabulousness possible. Next on the dumpster salvaging frugal living <laughs> uh, upcycling adventure list, we have chocolate chips that were salvaged at the uh, student family housing. It was a brand new open, unopened <laughs> package, but we've had some. I've got some chopped pecans. These, I think I bought, yes, I got them on clearance. They were in the freezer. And then I've got three very ripe bananas. I don't think that one or that one can be used. So those will go out to our rose bushes. Bananas are really good for rose bushes, but these two middle ones should still be okay. And actually the perfect amount that we will need for Olivia to make some banana bread. There's my beautiful Lulu. She is finishing up a project before she starts on the banana bread. She's got rubber bands that are, of course, from the dumpsters. I'm using these little metal things from those little clips that... Uh, Some of which are from the dumpsters. Yeah. I'm using this. And that ribbon holder is from some ribbon that was from the dumpsters. The things that she comes up with to use that I never would have considered upcycling, but she does, and she's amazing and an artist. I'm this character. She's from Kakugai. Okay, some of Lulu's anime, manga, etc., and wearing a shirt from one of our frugal friends. We've had that one a long time. Crutches from the dumpsters. We have probably, what, another week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, another week before our next checkup, and then hopefully Lulu will be done with crutches, and we can put them away again in the attic for yet another use later on. Hopefully I know. Not well, I know better than to say that there won't be another use because remember Reagan, who is amazing and putting away the dishes. Fantastic. I have such amazing helpers. 
Yeah, he twisted his ankle twice and had to use the dumpster crutches. So we're holding on to them. Um, but anyway, hopefully it'll be a long time before we have to use them again. Not sure if I've shown you guys this anytime recently. So why not? Some of the fabulous treasures that you guys have sent to us over time, along with lots of dumpster salvage treasures. Yeah. I need to add more of the postcards up or switch some out. It's on the list, we're getting to it. More of the treasures that you guys have sent us or that we have found in the bins. Disney, 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 of course. I still need to do a close up look at all of that. One thing at a time. And Mimi blessing us with some tunes on the dumpster salvaged guitar. On the dumpster salvaged wicker chair. It's another one from the student family housing from a couple years ago. It even came with the cushion that she's sitting on. into this YouTube adventure and I am constantly learning and, and growing and adapting. Everything is evolving across our channels and even in our lives, in our home, um, as our family changes and things develop. And so finding ways to fit YouTube in as my primary career choice, but also being a wife and a mom and doing the other things that I do, it can get pretty tricky sometimes trying to balance all of that out but also trying to continue to grow the channel and to evolve and adapt in a positive way. Well, luckily, I have Skillshare. And with help from several useful video series on Skillshare, I have been finding tips and tricks, ideas, suggestions that are helping me to improve my YouTube game. At this point in my YouTube journey, I do get asked a lot, how should I do this? What should I do that with that? What do you recommend? You know, the first 1,000 people to use the link at the top of, of answers, the video description the will get a free trial of Skillshare for me, membership. in my experience, is consistency. And, I felt very validated when watching these videos by people like Phil Ebenar and Ben Rollins. They talked about consistency too. So did Francesco D'Alessio, who also has another series of videos on how to get started on YouTube, how to grow your YouTube game. So I've been watching their videos and yeah, I'm feeling pretty validated that consistency is one of the main things. But of course, there is so much more to it than that. When you're just getting started, you need to know what kind of equipment to use. Do you need lights? Do you need special cameras, special phones, special tripods? What do you need? What is the bare minimum? Do you need to invest a lot of money to get started on YouTube? What can you make do with? Hey, you're going to learn about that in these video series on Skillshare. And then you're gonna be consistent in applying the principles and the tools that you will gain from these videos. It's not just YouTube videos though <laughs> that you'll learn about on Skillshare. It is a community of creators in every conceivable topic and genre sharing their knowledge, helping you to get started, but also to up your game in whatever it is that you are interested in. You know I love a great deal, so I am excited to tell you And after that, it's only about $10 a month. That's a great deal. Slow cookers are like the greatest thing since sliced toast. So I've got some 
of my dumpster salvaged Herdez uh, salsa and put that in with a beef roast I just bought. Just got to pop the lid on there. And there is yet another uh, frugal, <laughs> frugal addition to my meal prep for my low carb. For the last of our dumpster upcycles, the foil that I used on this cookie sheet to make some low carb meatballs was of course salvaged from the dollar store dumpster. The tablecloth here on the outdoor table was actually an umbrella, an outdoor umbrella that we found in the bins. And finally, here is the roadside salvage plant stand, happily placed in my garden.